time to leap into action. This episode of Turbo Bees, we're making frog keychains. Here is everything you'll need to make the frog. You're going to start your project by taking your string, matching up the ends, making a loop on the other end of the string. You're going to take your keychain ring and stick a loop inside of the keychain ring. Take your two match ends of string, run those to the loop, hold the keychain ring, pull the string tight until you have made the knot. This is what your knot should look like. Lacing on your first row is simple. You're going to take one end of the string, you're going to add three beads to that string. You're going to take your other end of string, and you're going to run it through the beads as well, going in the opposite direction. Pull both ends of the string until you reach the top. For our next row, it's going to consist of four beads, with two different color beads on the end represent the eyes. Add those beads to the string, Take your other end of string, run it through the beads as well, going in the opposite direction, and pulling both ends of the string until you've reached the top. Keep repeating these steps to make rows. For our next row, we're going to have a row of five. Follow up that row with another row of five. To make the arms and legs for the frog, we're going to take one end of the string and we're going to add seven beads to that string, leaving three different color beads on one end. We're going to take that same end of string and we're going to run it through two of the green beads on that string. Hold the beads in place, pull the string until the beads come together. To finish out the arm, we're going to take that same end of string, we're going to skip one bead and lace it through the next with the string going toward the body. Remember, hold that bead in place, pull the string, and the arm will come together. Once again, using the same steps, we're going to make another arm on the other end of the string, adding seven beads to that string. We're going to take that same end of the string, run it through the two beads, skipping the one and lacing through the next. Remember to pull the string until the arms bend upward. Now that we're back both in the strings, our next row is going to be a row of six. Follow up that row with another row of six. Now we'll have a row of five. Now we'll take one end of the string and add eight beads to the string this time to make a leg. Taking that same end of the string, I'm running it through the three. skipping one and lacing through the next. Once you pull the string, the beads will bend upward. Just be sure to readjust it and make them go down. Now with the other end of the string, we're going to make another leg, adding eight beads to the string, taking that same string and running through three beads, holding the beads in place, pulling the string tight, Now we're skipping the one bead and lacing through the next. Once you pull the string, the leg will bend. Now that we've finished the legs, it's time to hide the additional string. We're going to take one end of the string and we're going to run it through two adjacent beads on that row. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Run the string through the adjacent beads on that row. Once you have both ends of the string through, you're going to tie off your ends with double knots.
cut off your tied loose ends, and your frog is complete. Well, I hope you had fun creating your frog. If you have anything to add, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified for the newest episodes of Turbo Beats. And as always, thanks for watching. Ha <laughs>